channel here and I am running out of daylight <laughs> it's Friday afternoon it's about 6 p.m. sun's gonna set here in about 15 minutes and I am looking for a camp spot and hadn't found one yet I'm on Kentucky Creek and I was trying to scout out some new areas and uh, found a lot of places that won't work <laughs> so I've been going upstream I'm headed back downstream now uh, I've been looking on this side of the creek because you're the furthest from houses and stuff on that side. There's hardly any on, the other, on either side, but that's just the biggest uh, you know, area of, of woods and buffer, <laughs> which I like. Um, but it's just the way it's laid out, it's just not good. There's a high ridge. It makes it hard to get out of the creek. Once you get over that ridge, it drops back down to like a secondary uh, drainage ditch over there, and there's just there's just nothing in there. So there's a one or two spots on the left that I'm going to look at, uh, maybe one. And I've stopped there once before just to stop, take a break. I'm gonna try it, and if I don't feel good about it, I want to go back to the spot on Grendel Hole. And I see that's what happened. I went into Grendel Hole, and the water was so low that I thought I could get to my good camp spot that I like back there got about 20 minutes in 15 20 minutes in run out of water had to turn around and come out so that was wasted almost 30 plus minutes so and I didn't even start till like four after anyway been a little hectic but it's all good we'll figure something out <laughs> maybe setting up in the dark but I got a headlamp so like I said paddling back downstream now I'm gonna check one spot on the other side that I didn't want to camp on, but it'd be fine if I, if I if that spot works out. But otherwise, I'm going back to one that um, I did a little video, not on that spot, but it was in a video where me and my brother Alabama Floats had come out on Saturday. I went up in there, set up my shelter, and just had some breakfast and coffee while he fished. So it's uh, it'll work. So that's my plan B. Plan A is going to be to let's just say one more stop on the left, see how it looks. So. So check that, and then uh, I'll let y'all know <laughs> what I figure out. Or if the next video is me getting in my truck, you know, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> or get to a spot. All right, we'll see. I think I found home for the evening. <laughs> it's on the side of the creek I didn't want to be on. Well, it was on the side of the creek that I had preferred not to be on, but it'll be fine. It's all TVA land, not that big a deal. But uh, anyway, 
So there's the creek, my boat here. That's downstream. And this is gonna be home sweet home. As you can tell, it's so smooth and sandy here because it's basically a, a water runoff. <laughs> and we're not supposed to have any rain tonight, so it'll be fine. Had some rain a night or two ago, but it's firm, the sand makes it uh, you know absorb the water and it's fairly clean. And there's been some people here. I've seen some burnt sticks back over there. Saw an aluminum can. Um, yeah, there's there's been some people here, but it's not bad. So anyway, um, this is nice, <laughs> especially compared to everything else I've seen today. This is a uh, really nice. So I'm going to set up my tent and call it. Try not to cut tonight. We'll see. So I'm gonna set up real quick. What little light I have left after that. Gonna start on some supper. Got some burgers. <clears throat> gonna grill them on the grill. So uh, let's get to it. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Got my tent set up. Got my cot set up in there. Got my little thermo rest on it. My wise owl pillow sleeping bag there for a blanket now one thing i you know the cot is the tent's just barely big enough probably my feet and head are going to be hitting the ends they do when i lay on the ground so i know a few inches off it's going to be probably a little worse but that's okay i won't be on the ground so anxious to see how that works out um and as you can tell no rain fly just going with the little mesh uh, thing so we'll see how that works out okay um there's a i don't know if you can tell there's a little bit of light not much all right so i'm going to um get a little firewood yep i brought some some bigger stuff but i want to get some little sticks stuff to get it started and uh so yep i'm gonna get some firewood once i get my fire going then i'll uh work on supper but shelter set up so boats uh, pulled up secure let's see there's the water down there and I got it uh, tied off that tree right there so That's my stuff so I'm going to uh, get back to it all right got some pine needles here let's see if I can Get my fire started with just that and not use my actual fire starter although i do have a lighter so we're gonna kind of quasi bushcraft here let's see what happens Take two. All right, grills finally started to come along, so it's going to be all right. Got my fire 
going. I've used a couple of my store-bought wood, but trying to use as much of the natural stuff just to, you know, save what I can. I got plenty. Either way, I don't know if you can see it. Be a pretty good pile, just sticks and chunks of stuff right there. But now I will say, um, it's uh, like I said, it's Friday night. Wednesday night we had over an inch of rain, so I mean it come a toad strangler and just soaked everything. Um, the wood that I picked up. It, you know, it didn't seem that wet. It's damp, you know, but it's dry on the inside, a little damp on the outside. So once you get a bed of coals and kind of get it going, um, that's why a good thing to have the store bought. It's it's enough to kind of, as you can tell there, got just a couple of little pieces of it. Makes everything else go, dries it out pretty good. So And that's also what <laughs> helped to get my charcoal going. So anyway, um, yep, just uh, sitting here watching my fires and... Oh, I need to check the temperature. It, uh, it's cooling off quick, but uh, still very comfortable. And uh, But it's, it's cool enough where the fire feels good. I got my, a little thermometer in my dry box. So I'll check it in a minute. At the lows tonight, they were calling for like maybe mid-50s. Woke up this morning, at, you know, at home, it was like 46, 47. That would have been ideal out here. I would have loved that. But it's not going to be quite that cool, but, you know, mid and... Pr they're, they're calling for mid 50s in town out here it's going to be cooler so it may be low 50s but anyway it'll be fine either way so i uh, just going to wait on my charcoal to get finished up and put my burger on and i'll uh, check back when i get a little bite to eat all right burgers are almost done these are mushroom swiss burgers Hoo-wee. half pound each that's a pound of beef right there and i'm ready to destroy destroy it fire uh not putting off a lot of light but it's definitely putting off some heat again it's that damp wood you know that's the problem with it it, it won't just light up and go like dry stuff does but it uh it'll still build up the heat and uh it burns a little slower and longer but it still gets hot but i can put some must put some more on it here in a little bit but i ain't worried about it because i'm about to tear into these burgers all right check back in a little bit mm -hmm. Mmm, would you look at that? <laughs> All right. Man, that is good. But, as I say, everything tastes better on the river <laughs> or in the woods, around a campfire, whatever it is. And it's true. Man, when you're just sitting out here, taking in the peace and quiet, Listen to owls and coyotes and 60 degrees. It's cooled off here. Let's see. I don't know if uh, y'all be able to see it. But... Well, look at that. 50, 59. I don't know if you can read that or not, but 59. Whew. It's cooling off. But it, I mean, it feels good. You can tell I've already put on my hoodie. I'm about to bog it on. Now, I'm about to destroy those burgers, but... You know, I have to admit, it was a hectic afternoon. Got off work at four. Might have left a little early. Don't tell anybody. Um, but it was, uh, you know, 30 minute drive out here. And, you know, remember I went like 20, wasted close to 30 minutes going into one spot, ran out of water, had to turn around, double back, and then had to come upstream, scout some unknown areas. Um, unknown as far as camping I've been this up and down here a bunch of times but this was uh yeah I just spent a lot of time trying to find a place to set up finally I, I didn't get to this spot till basically almost six o'clock I mean the sun was uh had set and uh so I had to kind of had to use lights just to set up but hey it is all right I've got my fire going there again it's not uh let me put the light on it so yeah, I got my fire going there. It's not putting out a lot of light, but it's definitely putting out some heat. But it, uh, man, it feels good. And so, uh, matter of fact, oh, let me show you all this. So, uh, bam. <laughs> got my high-powered flashlight. There's a creek there. Boat. Woo-wee. All right. So, anyway. I'm going to put these burgers down because I'm starving. It's like, it's after eight. Charcoal took forever. I told you that story. It took forever to get going. 
had to let it kind of it just took a while but it did fine so just a little later than usual so i'm going to enjoy my burger by this fire and just chillax all right check where you on a little bit Morning. It's about 6:30. Sun is about to come up over there. I didn't sleep real good. <laughs> Talk about that later. Although the cot was nice, definite improvement. But anyway, I want to get up and uh, get the fire going. Make some coffee and make some breakfast. So let's get to it. All right, got my Mountain House biscuits and gravy uh, fixed and working on it on my second cup of coffee. We'll probably have one more. Fire's putting off some nice heat this morning. Oh, let's check the temperature. I forgot to check it when I woke up. I know last night the low, the lowest that I saw it was uh, 56. All right. Read that my glasses. Sixty. So it's fifty nine now. So, yep, it, it's uh, it's warming up. Like I said, it it had gotten down to uh, man, actually before I even went to bed, I noticed it cooled off real quick. And wind picked up a little bit, died down later, but it was like uh, uh fifty four or five, I think maybe, but nice comfortable night so um so about the cot <laughs> the cot was actually nice um i really liked it um uh, and it's way way better than sleeping on the ground um it's still i think you know my issue is not just the ground sleeping just kind of completely flat i'm just i gotta have a little bit of sway in there it's just what i'm used to but um anyway but uh, I still didn't sleep great. Uh, I was up a lot, and uh, but it was just, I don't know, and maybe it's because it's new for one thing. It was, took a little getting used to. I tend to be si a side sleeper, so you know I could roll over from side to side, but <clears throat> but uh, you know overall the cot itself was, uh, you know, I'll give it a thumbs up because it did what it's supposed to do. It, it got me off the ground, and it was way better than being actually on the ground, so no question about that. I still just sleep so much better in a hammock and that's just you know that's my preference so that's uh but you know I tried it out finally and so now I have it if I need to sleep on the ground uh, the only problem is you know it's it's somewhat lightweight but still you wouldn't want to have to carry that thing a long way um if I do <laughs> you know if I hike more than one day or if I hike more than probably a, a couple miles in and out um I might even have to reconsider that but anyway one more thing I will add uh I think I'm going to set up a store. Um, a store. I mean, you know, it's really just a way to to easily share the links to the the gear that I have. Um, I haven't done that to this point, largely for one reason, and that is I'm not a gear expert, <laughs> and I don't want to be. You know, uh, I buy what I think I need to get by. Uh, it's seldom brand name. It's just I look on Amazon, whatever has the best reviews. You know, and I. Feel pretty comfortable about or whatever i you know i think fits what i need um so you know i don't i don't i hate shopping i hate shopping i hate shopping i hate shopping and i'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at it i'm not going to spend hours comparing stuff i'm just going to get something and go with it you know and hope it works sometimes it does sometimes it don't so um you know i kind of learned that lesson on my tents i bought one that didn't have a lot of ventilation on it and uh 
I've, only, I've used it only a couple times. It probably make a good winter tent, but maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to set up a store so I can share some of the links. Like, um, to the, you know, on this trip, I can put the cot on there for sure um, because, you know, after one night on it, and obviously I can't talk about the durability of it because I've only used it one time, but for one night, the setup was easy and it was comfortable. So, you know, I'll share that. Uh, this, this table here, um, you know, I've gotten several questions on it. The chairs made by the same company. Um, I'll just, you know, things like that. So as I, you know, kind of use things, um, I get asked a lot about my poles, you know, the clamps and the, for the cameras and, and, and everything. See, there's my pole still on my back of my canoe there. So anyway, yeah, just stuff like that. I'm just going to, uh, set up a way to, to kind of share those things. And that way you kind of know what I have and you can look at it and decide for yourself, you know, if you want to use it, um, I'm certainly not endorsed by anybody. Like I said, and I and I'm not even going to claim that I, you know what I have is going to work for you. I just kind of buy stuff and and go with it, and so uh, you know because I don't do a lot of real endurance and long distance stuff where it's really critical to have you know maybe good stuff or whatever and, or lightweight. It's just you know I just kind of get out here and I go and do. I'm I'm very much a weekend warrior so to speak. You know I did have the one uh, week long trip Buffalo National River. I actually got a week-long trip coming up a uh, week after Thanksgiving uh, here in, in just a little over a month down in South Alabama with the same guy, Charlie, and, and some of the other guys. I think Wes maybe will be on there too. So anyway, got to kind of get start getting ready for that too. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, set up a way to share the links of the gear I have. And so maybe uh, that'll be helpful or interesting or something. So <laughs> all right, check with y'all later. <coughs> So, okay, I got my camp. Well, got my shelter broke down, tent and everything's in uh, my dry duffel bag. And uh, so I got all that put away. It was basically the tent, ground sheet, uh, sleeping bag, pillow, cot, and thermo rest pad. <laughs> um, almost sounds like glamping, doesn't it? <laughs> You know, it's funny when I was <clears throat> when I was loading up my canoe to come out yesterday afternoon. There was a guy coming in at the boat ramp. Uh, he'd been fishing, and uh, he come over and, and asked, you know, what I was fishing for. I said a camping spot. <laughs> I told him, uh, you know, I had uh, told him I wasn't fishing. I was just going to look for a place to camp overnight. And he commented about all the stuff I had in my canoe. And I told him, I said, yeah, I said that's one reason I like the canoe is uh, I don't have to be selective. <laughs> Anything I can, any comforts that i can uh pack in there i will and uh hey i enjoy it you know it's a little extra work and weight and stuff but you know that's just uh that's how i roll <laughs> i like having uh what i like having to have and you know if i have to um be selective at some point i will i do on these longer trips you know i mentioned the buffalo national trip had to be selective there gonna have to be selective um coming up here you know after thanksgiving when i got a, a week-long trip coming up then so it's all good so i'm just gonna sit here and relax enjoy this morning and uh watch uh Kateka creek wake up enjoy my little fire All right, I'm obviously loaded up in the canoe and headed back to the truck. It's been an amazing trip. Uh, loved it. Actually, I said didn't sleep that great last night, but the cot's definitely better than the ground. And uh, but man, just it's so beautiful. I mean, fantastic colors out here right now. Uh, still haven't reached peak, but it's going to be close. May have to come back out here in the next week or two. This is just beautiful weather's right just right actually it could be cooler <laughs> it's uh probably 70 or, or more today i think we're headed up in the 80s but i'm getting a little warm in this long sleeve shirt um shout out to the tennessee river line brad collett my folks there uh great program and uh just proud to uh help them out when i can 
but uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful trip, and and I've yeah, it's 10 10 10 30. I mean, it's uh, I'm just I sat there around the fire in my chair as long as I could, and and uh, well, I could have sat longer, and now I'm just taking my time, I'm not gonna rush this. Just want to soak it all in, enjoy this time out here. So peaceful and quiet and beautiful, and so it's been a great trip. And uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed my little overnight paddle camp on Kataker Creek. This is TVA land. Thank you, TVA, for making this uh, public land available for camping. Had a couple of hunters come ripping by in boats about 5:30 this morning. <laughs> woke me up but hey you know they're they're just like me they're taking advantage of this uh, public land so that's what it's here for and uh so thank you tva so anyway i'm gonna wrap this up and just uh focus on relaxing uh and taking it real slow back to the truck enjoying this beautiful fall day in october hope you take a creek hope, hope y'all have enjoyed my trip and we'll see y'all on the next one Yeah, like I said, I just I was upstream doing a little overnight camp. So what kind of boat you got there, man? That's pretty cool. So I got this with my tax return last year. Nice. Scout inflatable. Okay. Uh, they're from they're from California. It was like 1,200. It's a 12 foot model, which is this, and a 16 foot model. Solid. Well, and you're just you're barely in the water. I mean, the thing must have pretty good uh, weight think, capacity too. I think the weight capacity is pretty good. It's, it's plus 500 pounds. Wow. But, That's crazy. Like I, I can tell. Yeah, like I said, you're just you're barely in the water right I mean, now. This is this is you know ankle yeah, deep. barely over your ankle. That's right. Yeah. So, and what's your name? Colin. Colin, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you, Colin. Nice to meet you, man. Man, that's I'm awesome. Have to go throw a subscribe. Yeah, man. check out I'm Southern Pattern. Sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Flint River video. Oh yeah, yeah. I've done Flint. Done. Yeah, a couple times. Oh, no telling. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, man. man it was yeah, yeah, nice that's crazy, yeah, nice like, to yeah, nice to run into you, man. Yep, I'll be about a week, but I'll have this one out and you'll be on it. So like I met a celebrity. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> man, you have a good weekend. Be safe out there. All right, you too, Colin. Good to see you, man.